the Isle of Wight off England's south coast, the setting for a trial of the contact tracing app that it's hoped will be part of this country's path out of COVID-19 lockdown and back to economic health. Provided enough people download and use the app, it can be effective in tracing contacts that virus sufferers don't actually know, but may have passed in a shop or sat next to on the bus. If your phone, like if your phone pings that you've been near someone, you can self-isolate. Um, but I don't think it will make the thing. It won't make the thing go away. It's just be, you know, an easier way to stop it spreading quicker, I guess. But it's emerged the Isle of Wight app won't be ready to meet Prime Minister Boris Johnson's June the 1st deadline when he's promised to have a world-beating test, trace and isolate system in place so that the schools can start going back and other parts of the economy can reopen. And there are signs the other elements of the system may be suboptimal as well. Test results that are still taking too long to come back and an army of up to 25,000 human call centre trackers with minimal training and little to no epidemiology epidemiological knowledge to enable them to ask the right questions. The island's Member of Parliament from the governing Conservative Party says the system will work despite past mistakes in dealing with COVID-19. Has everything gone right with this? No, absolutely not. It's quite clear not. Uh, and, and that is going to come out in the wash in future. Are we getting a lot of things, an increasing number of things right now? Absolutely. And this app, I have no doubt, uh, will be part of, of that three-pronged approach the tracing system supported by the app and the manual tracing um, and then the virology the testing with it and that is the way that we are going to suppress the virus public health experts have concerns what you may end up with is this, this idea particularly if you have a, a half baked or a half cocked system um, you may end up with a almost a false sense of security that you think maybe the contact tracing is working um, and yet case numbers continue to rise and it, it goes out of control again. A campsite and adventure park that would otherwise be looking forward to a busy holiday weekend lies empty. Businesses are desperate for the lockdown to be lifted, but not so desperate that they're prepared to take risks with a defence system that may not be properly ready. It needs to be right really before um, I think we go ahead with anything else. Yeah, a second wave would be terrible I think I think people would struggle with that the government is pushing a tight deadline it's not clear the public is in such a hurry Jonah Hull Al Jazeera on the Isle of Wight